Facebook's IPO has been priced at $38 a share, valuing the company at $104 billion. And some folks are asking if you need to be cautious with all of the hype surrounding the Facebook IPO. Brian Hamilton, CEO of SageWorks, a financial analysis firm for private companies, is joining us now. Brian, clearly a lot of excitement around an IPO, around this IPO. But the value of this company shouldn't be determined by the hype or your personal interest in using the social network, right? That's right. Just because you're a user of Facebook doesn't mean you should be a buyer of Facebook. <laughs> so this now would be the time to remember what uh, things aggravate us about Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Really, the only thing that aggravates me is actually the value, Michael. I mean, really, if you look at the company, they are going to be trading anywhere between 20 and 28 times trailing annual sales. To put that in perspective, when Microsoft went public, they were valued at about five times uh, trailing revenue. And who had a more uh, dominant market position than Microsoft, obviously? Um, If you look at Apple, you mentioned uh, them uh, previous to our conversation. uh, If you used Facebook's sales multiple, Apple would be worth between $2.5 and $3 trillion dollars. So Facebook, good company check, good uh, sales growth check, good user base check. They've got profits check, but valuation no check. That's the real issue with this IPO. So when something like this comes up, what's what's the best thing to do? To to calm down, to wait, to see how it uh, how it plays out? Because this is your world more than than it is uh, mine. But from what I've noticed is that when you do let things calm down, the price always seems to come down. Yeah, you know, I'm going to have egg on my face in a year from now when we're talking about this uh, <laughs> Facebook IPO because it's going to go up in value, right? Yeah. But really, as a buyer, you want a fair value. And in the IPO market, it's actually not very complicated at all. It really isn't. You've got founders, you've got original investors, and we want to make them wealthy. We want them to go public and buy their cars and really get a great return. Uh, on their investment and their initial efforts because that keeps capitalism going. But you also want the buyers of the stock to also win. In this case, it seems to be skewed toward the existing investors, meaning if you go in as an investor right now, you're sharing a lot of risk on that investment because of the value being so high. That's really the issue. You want the buyer and the seller to win, uh, to each give up a little bit. But right now, the value's awfully high and that's really the only thing that I see wrong with this IPO. So you don't want to go out and spend $100,000 on a refrigerator. So you need to kind of bring it down just a, a bit and, and, and wait for the sale price to go down. It's something a little bit more reasonable. That's funny. I haven't bought a refrigerator in a while. But, you know, I have bought IPOs. And here's the thing. If you go in, the old adage, you know, you buy low and sell high. I don't mind you buying medium and selling high. But in this case, you're buying high and you're hoping it's going to go higher. And when that happens, you're in a riskier situation. So that's really evident, actually, looking at this IPO. To me, it's so straightforward. So don't be too quick to give Facebook a poke this Friday. Brian Hamilton, CEO, SageWorks, thanks so much for being with us. Great to be here.